Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to another gloomy-ass day. Uh, today is the day where I check out my new-to-me 91 3000 GT VR4. Let's uh, check it out. So if you're on the hunt for 3000 GT VR4s like I am, uh, you'll notice that the paint is always this, uh, this kind of nasty, see like this peeling mess. Uh, that's because in the 90s, Mitsubishi used a really, really bad clear coat. And over time, sun exposure and the elements and acid rain and whatever, it just made it peel off the car. Now the paint actually isn't in that bad of shape. I mean, you have, this was like a repair of some kind. But other than that, the, the paint isn't in horrible shape. I mean, right here where you see the clear coat is still there, it's actually pretty shiny. I mean, I could take take, take the to a buff pretty well, but the rest of the car is just, this is just sun damaged and I don't even know what that is. Going around the back, you see this active aero spoiler. Pretty cool stuff. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna take this spare tire out. Herein lies the problem. Because when I got the car, apparently some other guy, uh, a prospective buyer came to see the car and uh, the car had a problem starting, ended up being a fuel pump issue. So what he did is he jerry-rigged, and I do mean jerry-rigged, a fuel pump into the car. Uh, this was still attached in here, it was just kind of wedged in there. You can see this uh, exposed wiring, which was uh, how I got the car, and I don't know, um, it's, this wiring leads to Dun, dun, dun. Leads to some jumper cables and some house wiring. I mean, this is jerry-rigged beyond anything that I would consider uh, funny. I mean, this is uh, this is seriously like a fire hazard. So apparently, this guy was supposed to. Uh, his plans were to drive this thing on the highway uh, back to his house, but uh, apparently, he didn't want to do the paperwork legally, and the buyer backed out. So his fuel pump remained. I mean, the car does run, sort of, uh, but it's uh, really, really badly. So we're gonna have to probably replace that fuel tank. I don't think that's serviceable anymore. Um, maybe do something with the line, and uh, yeah, we gotta dump all that fuel out. Maybe we can just re-tap these holes and clean this up. I'm not so sure we can do that, so might have to end up getting a tank. Also, look at this. Ugh. See, I have a 99 uh, 3000 GT VR4, and this is this should be all clean and clear of debris, but this is just uh, disgusting. So I think rule, rule number one, I think phase one would be to take all this crap out right now and uh, hit this entire car with a power washer and see what the bones of the car look like. I think they're I think they're pretty good. I think it'll clean up nicely, but uh, that that remains to be seen. So let's see what happens. Oh uh, boy! All right. So there was definitely a rat in here, or a mouse, or something. Because if you just check it out, this is all. It's not rocks. It's like rat crap. So what I'm going to do today is I will open this up fully um, and take out as much dirt and grot as I can and then I'll work on the mechanical aspects of the car. This car has, let me see how many miles, 225,888 miles. That's uh, it's pretty cool, but look at that radio. That is state-of-the-art for 1991, disc loading system with a uh, computer-controlled deck and Dolby something or other. You can see the mice have probably made a nest somewhere in the, in the vents. So if I turn it on, that's going to be interesting. I don't know what that's about. That looks, looks suspiciously like mold. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's see how I can clean this up at least a little bit.
So I just power washed most of the car. Uh, power washed the engine bay, which, uh, let's see if you can get that in, in shot. Yeah, the engine bay was uh, filled with mouse crap. Just like everywhere around here, there's like some in the V of the engine. It, it, it just didn't look, you know, good. It didn't look sanitary. I probably should have worn a mask. Um, we'll see how I feel in a few days. But this car is uh, on its way to become something that uh, its next owner could be proud of. Maybe not cosmetically, but mechanically, for sure. On top of the engine bay, I also power washed. Ta-da! The, the trunk. So, this trunk was uh, filled with just nastiness because these these things were just um, overflowing. I guess there's debris and stuff in here. I cleaned them all out. And uh, now it's nice and clean. There's actually not not uh, not a lot of rust. I mean, there's a little bit of uh, like corrosion right here, but it's not, not that bad. All I did was opened up these. These used to be uh, rubber grommets, that and that. And uh, it doesn't really matter if I got water in the gas tank because I'm replacing the gas tank anyway. All right, so this is the home wiring for the fuel pump. As you can see, it's not not the not exactly uh, the most OEM solution, but it did get the car on the trailer, and uh, I will not be using it ever, 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 ever again. So I'm just gonna take that out. That is a lot of wire. So let's see what we got going over here. All right, so this is the rear seat. It looks like someone already did some work taking it out and Okay, I've got a rat's nest Let's See if we can Yeah, there's some uh, water leaking down there. That's probably from What I just did with the power washer. Let me try to get the other side All right, so now that we got that out check out this rat's nest look at look at all this crap oh my god this mouse made a nice home for years and years this probably was his retirement home and i took it away from him uh, feel kind of bad about that no nah, not really so sit rep on this car uh i am stopping for today i cleaned out uh, the trunk a little bit yeah, just put in the uh, the stock spare. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this car. Um, I might make it into uh, something cool. I might just leave it as is. Uh, I mean, I used a power washer and took off some of the uh, peeling clear coat all over the car. Whoops. Yeah, I mean, you can see it like right here. And it's starting to rain, so the car's looking kind of disgusting more than it already has <sighs> yeah this is uh, definitely a project if you want to follow what i do with this car you can always subscribe like dislike comment whatever you want to do i will see you next time